Hey, what's up guys? My name is Avery and today we're going to be loading an object or an OBJ file into a 3D scene using Raylib. If you guys aren't familiar, Raylib is a, as it states on the website, a simple and easy to use library to enjoy video game programming. So it's a library for making games. And if you guys are familiar to it, um, if you guys want to learn more about it on the channel, we've been making a 2D game using Raylib um, in the Go language. But today we're just going to be programming using C which is by default is what the Raylib library is in. But if you follow along, you'll understand mostly on how to do it in almost any other language because Raylib for the most part is pretty similar in most languages. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this new file. I'll just call it object.c and it's just gonna be like this. And in here, you're gonna to wanna to include Raylib. So I have my Raylib header. It's just like that. But if you guys have downloaded the source, then maybe this is going to be a different location, but you just want to find your location, have it included, and then we'll just have an int main. And in our main, this is where we're going to declare and do everything. So we can create our window. It's going to be capital I. And creating our window, we can pass in the size. I'll do 1280 by 720, and we'll pass in the title to the window. So we'll just do model loading, and it's just going to be like that. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And that is going to be all you need for creating a window. And now that we've got that done, we're actually going to basically do everything for the object loading. We'll create a new model and we'll do load model. And then in here is where we're going to want to have our object file. We're also going to want to have an image that can wrap around the object file. So to do that, we'll use texture 2D and texture 2D is just an image basically. And we'll do load texture. So in the load model and the load texture, this is where we're gonna pass in the path to files that we have. If we look at this website, um, cgtrader.com, it's a website where you can find 3D models and their images and their object files and other kinds of files to use as well. There's a lot of th free options. I'll have this one linked in the description for this duck. It's what we're gonna play with. And if you click to free download, it'll take a few seconds and it'll get you to this page. We're gonna be downloading this object zip and Along with that, we're downloading the Unity texture. The object is going to have the 3D object and the Unity texture will have the actual image for it. And we can, I'll show you that real quick actually. Um, so I'll open up the image just to show that for you. I'm already in my home directory. Downloads, then Unity, then this is the name of the file. So you can't really tell it's a duck when you it doesn't look like the duck, but imagine the duck's 3D image was unwrapped, and this is what it looks like. So we have the face, and I guess those are the feet, and the bill, and it's gonna wrap into the duck. So once you have this location, we're gonna use that for the texture, and in our other one, downloads, uh, I call it rubber duck whenever I open up the zip file, and it's rubber duck, and there's a few different object files in there. You can Try all of them, play around with them if you want. And it's just gonna be like that. And now that we have this, I can quickly show it to you actually. So on Blender, you can just do file, import, object. And it's just gonna be under my downloads. And I have, yeah, it's the name of the file right there. This is the one that we're doing. And if you zoom out, just for the scroll, um, you can see this is a duck, just like that. So there's no image on it, but we're gonna wrap the image that we have around it. Let me close out of here, don't save. So now we're back in here, we have that and that. And now we need to set the material. So we'll do materials, and it's gonna be the first material, and that one's gonna be maps. And it's gonna be material, map, diffuse. And then be the texture. And that will set the text. So now it's assigning that texture um, to the texture for the model. We also need to set up some stuff for the camera. So we'll do camera, we'll call it cam, and just initialize that at zero. And then we'll do the cam position. So this is where the camera is in a 3D space. It's a vector 3D, just like that. And we're gonna wanna set its X, Y, and Z position. And we'll just set it off at 50, just like that. 
So that's now set at its position. Now we're gonna say, what position do you want the camera to look at? And we're gonna want the camera to look at the model, the duck model. And to do that, we'll just do cam.target and we'll have it look at the origin. So the origin, if you don't know already, that's just gonna be zero, zero, zero. So I'll just do like that. And then just like that. So now our camera's looking at it. And we we'll wanna set camera up. Once again, I guess I can open up Blender. And basically you have your camera and your camera's gonna be facing in a direction, but you need to know what direction the camera needs to be rotated to. So here's the camera in Blender. You see there's this up arrow up here. That means it's rotated up here. If you were to rotate the camera downwards and you have it say that's matching, that's still looking there, the camera is rotated to the side. So it's like if you have your, your phone camera and if you take a photo this way, if we take a photo that way. So we want the camera facing upwards so it's in the right direction. So to do that, we'll just do another vector 3D um, like that. And in here, we're just gonna say point up on the Y. So everything else is just going to be zero. So the Y will be one. And that should be everything that we need. Um, actually, we can set the camera field of view and that's gonna be on the Y as well. We do 90. I um, mean, play around with this to make it look like you want. And then the projection. And we're gonna use a camera perspective. Now that we've got that, we can figure out some more things. We can do like vector three position. And this should be the position I think we're using to, it's that we're using to load the model into basically. So it's gonna be like that. I guess I already have the zeros pasted. And then we can get the bounding box. The bounding box is used for things like collision, uh, for selecting an object. It's gonna be like a box that draws around it. And we'll see that once we display it. So it's gonna be bounds. Then get mesh bounding box. And then model meshes zero. Just like that. And now we'll just set our target. So set target FPS. We'll set that to 60. So now we're going to create our while loop and we'll do while window should close. And in our while loop, we'll do everything for drawing and whatnot. But first, let's do. The ending stuff. So it'll be unload texture, text, then unload model, and then here we pass in model, and then just close window. And after that, of course, and see we're returning zero. So now in our while loop, we can do the drawing stuff. So we just do begin drawing, and afterwards we just do end drawing. So everything that we're drawing is going to be between these two functions. And we're gonna draw a 3D scene, we're also gonna draw some font stuff. So in the 3D scene, we can do begin mode 3D. And we'll pass in the camera, because it knows that's the perspective that it's gonna be doing all of it from. And in mode 3D. We can also clear the screen, make it white. So clear background, and then ray white. So in here is where we're gonna be drawing our model. So we can do draw model like that. And we'll do model position. And then this information is just information on the transparency, uh, I believe. Now it's drawn. It's the same thing that we use in the 2D series that we're doing, making a game with Raylib. So that's basically everything we need to draw the model. Um, we'll just draw some text to show you guys how to do that. And we'll just do loading obj file. And then we'll set its position. Get screen height minus 25 and 25, then dark gray. And we can draw the FPS as well. FPS. And this is the position at drawing the FPS. So that's in drawing. Now we can go ahead and compile this. We're using GCC, a GNU C compiler, and we'll take in our file, which is obj.c, and we're gonna compiling it with Raylib, compiling it with GL and LM and LP thread and LDL and LRT and the X11 library. Okay, it looks like we had an error. Let's go and check this out. Camera perspective.
that's not me, that, I have it wrong, colon, and then let's just try running that again. So set target FPS, that should be capital S. Now that we try running it, we should get our duck to display. And here we have it, that's our duck. We don't have any controls over anything, so we can set up a little bit of camera controls and I can also show you how to do the bounding box and whatnot. So in here we can do, we can draw our bounding box, we can also draw a grid. So let's just do draw a grid and we'll draw the size of the grid. It's just gonna be like that. And we'll draw our bounding box. And we'll do bounds. That's the name that we have it up here and the color of it will be green. So now we can recompile this and we can see there's the grid and here's the bounding box. So the bounding box can be used for things like collision and other things as well. And now we can set up something for our camera. So let's just set our camera type. So set camera mode. And we do cam and then we'll do camera free, just like that. And in here we're gonna to wanna to update our camera. So it's gonna be update camera and you pass in a reference to your camera. And there's several different camera modes with Raylib. This camera free mode at least allows us to zoom in. So now we can zoom in to our object. There's a first person mode, there's a third person mode. We can actually go ahead and try out the third person mode. And that's just going to be uh, camera third person. Just like that. Now that we've run that, we should have a little bit more control. So you move around with your mouse and you can still zoom in with your wheel. And here we have it. This is our little guy. If you get into him, you can see that he's hollow inside. But this is everything you need for loading in an object. Um, so most game scenes, they'll have tons of objects. You load them in, you have to keep track of them. So this is a simple way of doing it. If you wanted to populate a bunch of ducks, then you can have your model and you can have it draw the ducks in a bunch of different positions. So you can even do, copy this right here. And we'll call this one position two. And we'll just copy this. And position two, we're gonna say, um, just move it that way. I'm not sure how much of a difference it's gonna move them. So let's see. Okay, I believe just one wasn't too much. So let's try moving it uh, 10 like that and see the difference of what it makes. Okay, so you can see there's a duck right there. And let's just move him out 200. Okay, and there's the duck. It's moved on the X axis 200 and it's raised up by one on the Y axis. So you can do that for loading in multiple objects. Of course, that's the same object. So you can also load in different models using different object files. I would just go around on the website um, look for the free stuff and just play around with it to make sure you get the OBJ file and the PNG file for wrapping around the object. But hopefully this tutorial was useful. I'll have the code linked in the description as always. If you guys are interested in more in Raylib, I'll have more videos out soon. And I already have some videos where we're making a game in Raylib, a 2D game. So feel free to check those out. See you guys again next time. Bye.